So we've got onions and carrots going in this bed. And I will try to get down here and give you a closer look. There's carrots barely coming up there. So we've got some more. So an entire row going that way. And actually there's three rows of carrots. And then there's one row of onions right here. So here we go. Let's see if we can get. There we go. Here's an onion. Here's an onion. And they're pretty nicely spaced all the way down the line. There's a gap right here. Oh, hello, and a worm. <laughs> Making his way around. And then here's another onion right there. So all I'm going to do then with this gap is use some of the onions that I grew in the house. Here's the tray. And I'm just gonna plug one in right in between those two onions where there's a gap. Right here. My trusty tool. I really love making a small hole with a fork. And then I find it easy to get the plants out of the cells with a fork. It's, it's the perfect size. And then when you lift it out of there, you get the entire soil. And then there's onions. And you can put it right into that plug that you just dug with the fork. It's the perfect size. So there we go. It's called Texas Early Grano. They are really good. So there's the onion that grew in the house. And these other onions that are in the bed are direct sown. So seeds straight into the ground. So these ones that grew from seed germinated really well. I'm happy with them. But it can be fun to plug in the gaps with something you started in the house too so it could be it could be efficient to grow both direct sown in the house and or phew, direct sown in the soil and to start some in the house to plug in later where there are gaps in the yard <laughs>